If you're a struggling trader, then this video is gonna be perfect for you, okay? So in this video lesson, I'm gonna talk about the most important factor in every trade. It's a must watch, especially if you're a struggling or beginning trader, okay? Hey, so uh, do me a favor if that sounds good, smash the subscribe button, okay? Smash the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up on the video. Also, if you guys would like to give us a thanks in appreciation, help support the channel, what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna give you one of my $497 trading plans, okay? You give us a thanks, I'm gonna give you a trading plan. All you gotta do is comment down below or email me and let me know that you, you gave us a thanks, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into today's video lesson. What is the most important factor? It's in the book, and we've talked about it forever. The most important factor in every trade. Let me type in. Yeah, trend, right? And I think lots of times we might forget that. We're constantly trying to catch reversals, catch the bottom, but our money is made in the trend, right? And Risk management is big, but the most important factor in every trade is the trend. So what's the second most important factor in every trade? Right? It's in the book, and it's what we talk about. And I think we abandoned some of it, or we didn't drive this point home, because it's all about the basics. You know, I think when you start to learn, and you start to learn all these different indicators, and you start to learn all this stuff, you abandon what works the most. Right? When you're new, you just... You just buy to buy. You might understand the trend or you're like, okay, I recognize this trend is down and I'm just going to buy. And it works and you're like, wow, this is easy. But then as you start to learn, you start to second guess yourself and you're talking yourself out of trades or you're getting out early. And so I want to go back to the basics. And again, basic options, right? This is basic. We're going to go back to the basics. So what is the second thing? Trend, and then what is the second most important factor in every trade? And I'll type it in here while you're reading it. Support and resistance. Support and resistance. Okay, This is where buyers take over from sellers and sellers take over from buyers, right? So we want to trade in the direction of the trend. If it's going up, we want to trade in the direction of the trend, Okay, the only thing is, is we don't know, for example, when a downtrend is going to reverse into an uptrend or vice versa, when an uptrend is going to reverse into a downtrend. But if we can catch that trend early, early, and then ride it, that's where we're going to make a lot of money. And support and resistance areas help us determine when to enter a trade or, like I was talking to Ashley before class, and I think this is where I'm going to really drive the point home today is, or add to a position. I think we have to get better at adding to our winning trades. Okay? Because, and I'm going to, again, I'll talk about it as we go, we don't know when this trend is going to develop or how long it's going to last. But whenever we're in a position that is going in our favor, we need to be good at adding. And we add when they start to consolidate, right? They start to consolidate. They form patterns. Because remember, trends don't go straight up. They go, they bull flag, they channel, they turn into ascending triangles. But these are consolidation patterns. And we have to be good with, we, tra we get in on the trend when it begins, and then when it's in these little patterns, these consolidation, that's times to add. All right, everybody. I hope you're enjoying today's video so far. Hey, do me a favor. If you are and you haven't done so yet, give me a thumbs up on the video. really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps support the channel. Hey, and make a nice comment if you are enjoying today's video. All right. So let's go ahead and get back into the video lesson. Consolidation add. And if this trend goes up for a week or two weeks and we've added to that, that's how we can make up for tons of our losses, okay? So trend support resistance and momentum. That's the third. 
So what do we use for our momentum indicators? Right? What do we use for momentum indicators? It's in my book, and I talk about it a lot. And again, I'm going to just continue to go back to the basics. Okay, what do we use for our momentum indicators? I'll give you a hint. What is this? The candlestick, right? Read the trend. It's going down. I got in on a price action signal. It's called a pin bar, and I'm just riding the momentum to the downside. And I'm up over a $1,000-something, and I'm targeting down here. Okay? But the momentum is the candlesticks, right? The real-time candlesticks. They're showing us what's happening, okay, the buyers and the sellers. And you guys know the candlesticks. You know, you've got an open, you got a close, you got a high, and you got a low, okay? So then, of course, then there's a little bit on volume. I don't really look at volume too much. The only time I really look at volume is if there's a breakout. Like, let's say a price goes up and it stalls and then it breaks out. If you guys look at volume on the breakout, and if you have above average volume, that can be, you know, a good indication that that was a, you know, a, a real breakout. But as we're going to start to talk about in the Forex classes, we're going to start talking about price action. So there's clues that can alert us after it breaks out. Like one of the things that I trade, and I'm really going to start alerting the most, is a breakout. I'm not going to necessarily trade the breakout. Me, I'm not a breakout trader, but what I like is... The breakout, the stall, and the continuation, right? So it broke out, it stalled, and then resumed the pop, okay? And so, but these are the four components of technical analysis. Trend, support and resistance, momentum, and volume. All right, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video lesson. And if you did enjoy the lesson, do me a favor. Hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Oh, and by the way, check down below in the description. There's a link on how you can get my latest book, Trading Part-Time, completely for free. Don't forget to take a look at my next video coming up right there. We know you'll enjoy it. All right, everybody. We'll see you in the next video lesson.